we were just talking and he looks at me and he goes, Joni, I want to buy that building. And he's the only man I ever knew that could look at a building like this and be able to buy it. We are celebrating Pride Month this June and one of the most historic gay nightclubs in the country is right here in downtown San Antonio. The Bonham Exchange has been in operation since 1981, and the man who bought it was a local developer and businessman named Arthur Happy Veltman. Our KZ Explains did a deep dive earlier this month on the Bonham. RJ Marquez is part of that team, and he joins us now because you guys found some interesting history, not only about the building itself, but about the nightclub that it turned into. Yeah, it, just to kind of pull the curtain back a little bit for our viewers. So a lot of times when we put together these episodes, there's a lot of things that we're like, oh, wow, this can be its own little story or, you know, this can be something a different angle. So we did dive into this a little bit, but we wanted to also separate just the history of the building itself because it is truly a historic San Antonio building. So it was built in 1891, originally a German athletic group. So a group of gymnasts were the original sort of, uh, they, they originally had the building, they had a bowling alley, ballroom, basketball court. Uh, yeah, and this was a team of gymnasts called the Turnverine. And of course, the building is named after James Bonham. And he's a soldier who died, of course, at the Battle of the Alamo. So, I mean, we're going back more than a century when it comes to the Bonham. And uh, it's, a, it's really still an impressive building. A lot of research. And how did Happy Veltman get into the picture and buy the building? Yeah, so of course, Happy Veltman, that uh, gentleman that you saw right there. So what happened was that in the 1930s, Obviously, uh, the German sentiment, not great here in the United States, so they had to sell the building and it ended up becoming a USO and then later a uh, post office storage station facility. So it was gonna get torn down. And so Happy Veltman came, came along. He was the owner of the San Antonio Country Nightclub. And so what happened was that Happy in the late 1970s sold the San Antonio Country Nightclub and with the money, he basically bought the Bonham Building. And this was a guy who loved architecture. Happy Veltman was a developer. He was part of the Riverwalk planning, part of the Blue, Starts, Blue Star Arts Complex planning. So really just a huge influence in San Antonio. Really involved. Yeah, yeah. So what in particular makes this building stand out? You got, you got the nightclub, but you have all the bowling alley and everything that wanted to when they first built it, but there seems to be some pretty nice architecture. So what actually yeah, makes I, this uh, that, That's exactly it, David and Tiffany. I mean, just the architecture alone, it's a three-story building. It's 25,000 square feet. So I had never been in there, but when we went to go do the interviews, I mean, I it just is a massive place. You could see some of these videos that uh, the Bonham shared with us, and it still pretty much looks the same. You could still see the auditorium, the dance floor at the very upper level of the building, and it's still a uh, massive place and a place that really uh, means a lot for the LGBTQ plus community in San Antonio. But you talk to a lot of San Antonio people and a lot of them have been there. So it's a very inclusive nightclub, a place that has uh, definitely had a lot of memories over the years. Still have the bowling alley in it? Uh, I don't think the bowling alley is in it. <laughs> That's what you wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a yeah. very unique building. Mm -hmm. Even from the outside, it yeah. just stands out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely stands out. Of course, the architecture, kind of the big thing. It is a historic building. So, again, Happy Veltman bought it, basically saved it. They were going to try and demolish it. And it's right next to the Alamo. So, a very interesting location for that nightclub. In case you guys did a deep dive on, on the history of the bottom and the people that have been there and own it. So, where can we find this episode if yeah, you so want to go see it? Yeah, so, David, that episode is on our uh, homepage page on ksat.com and also on our ksat explains page on the website as well and you could see it in any other way that you stream either ksat tv and again this is uh, the history and the legacy of the bottom exchange pretty interesting stuff T talk to a lot of uh, historians and uh, people that were part of making this such an iconic uh, gay nightclub here in san antonio very interesting mm -hmm. thank you so much Arne. yeah thanks guys